Well, uh, it's sort of astonishing that I've got to this great age and conducted Mozart all my life and never actually done this one before. I sort of can't believe it got away. <laughs> uh, but here I am finally doing it, and I have just loved it. I'm loving every minute of it. I loved every rehearsal, um, and I'm certainly enjoying the performances now. The music is spectacular, and, you know, the, the ensembles, those individual arias, not just the famous concert arias with wind obligatos and, and so on, but, you know, the little sort of 50 bar numbers, you know, how Mozart can create something perfect in two minutes, um, or do something very extensive like the Act One finale, which, of course, we know all about from the Da Ponte operas, uh, but that he can just effortlessly turn off, turn on these amazing ensemble numbers, trios, duets, um, accompanied recitatives, where so much happens, and he just follows the, the narrative and emotional thrust with such a fabulously true precision. Working with Christopher was great, and um, you know I, I knew his reputation, and I've uh, as. A, as he and his brother, as we all know, his twin brother, sort of, have sort of been enfant terrible for years. Um, and they've had some spectacular hits and some spectacular misses in their, um, in their past. And I, I was uh, intrigued and couldn't wait to, to work with them. And it was a joy, I have to say. I, I'd seen other productions of his recently, which um, I'd loved. He did, for instance, a, a Handel's Partenope at English National Opera, which won all sorts of awards, and I loved that, so I knew I was onto a good track. I've always been so impressed with Brian's casting, and he has the, I've always said he has the best nose in the business, you know, he can sniff out these great singers from all over the world in their, in their 20s, and we've always had great casts, and I, but I don't want to denigrate any of my previous casts by saying I think this is probably the best cast we've ever had at at uh, COT, it's just so even. You know, I'd heard of uh, Renata Prokopich, uh, who is probably the most experienced of them all, uh, but she is a spectacular as Sesto, and, you know, she's going on to great things, making her Covent Garden debut next year and working all the time. Amanda Majeski as Vitellia is simply astonishing. Um, she's 24 years old, um, and playing... Uh, the role of Vitellia in quite a different way from the way it looks on the page, I have to say, according to Christopher's interpretation, which works extremely well, but is very strong and very, very demanding. I don't want to give anything away. She copes magnificently with all the demands of the staging, which are extreme, and at the same time sings spectacularly. And some of the most famous arias uh, that Mozart wrote, um, specifically uh, the, her final aria in Non Puri Fiori with the obligato basset horn um, in the pit, which is one of Mozart's most favorite, fa famous arias of all, sings that unbelievably brilliantly. And the rest of the role. I mean, I'm really excited about that girl. I think she's going places, but I think they all are. When he came here and said, you know, come and do something here, of course I leapt at the opportunity. And uh, he's been here ten years and so have I. I mean, this is La Clemente di Tito is my tenth opera. And I said to him the other night after our opening, you know, which I, I think was a, a sort of fabulous evening opening night. And I said to him, it, the reason why it was so fabulous is that it was, it had exactly the right amount of rehearsal. Um, I so often work for companies, I'm trying to do less of this, where one doesn't have anything like the right amount of, of, let's say, orchestral rehearsal time or simply musical rehearsal time, or the production doesn't have the right amount of technical time, and one scrambles to get these things on, and by that sort of ridiculous theatre magic, uh, it does tend to happen. But with COT, and this is one of the reasons I come back and back, because of Brian, and these are things that he learned at, Brian, at Glyndebourne, as did I, um, that the proportion of, of orchestral time, uh, pit time, theatre time, is spot on. And we had, I think, a great opening on Saturday night because we were really ready. We were just perfectly cooked. <laughs>